Hey, I'm Rob. This week we're gonna check out the natural horn. Got my natural horn this week. As you can tell, it looks a little different than your typical valve horn. It doesn't have any buttons or valves. You can see both the instruments here. The natural horn is on the right, the valve horn is on the left. It's called the natural horn because it doesn't have any valves or mechanisms. It's all natural. Typically horn players play a scale with their valves and it sounds like this. On a natural horn, however, because there aren't any valves, you have to use your hand inside the bell. And it goes like this. In order to play in different keys on the natural horn, horn players had to use these round bits of tubing. These are called crooks. You have a G crook, and this one's an E flat crook. This is an F crook here. Horn players also had to use couplers. Couplers are little bits of tubing that extend the crook to make it longer. So they go in between the crook and the horn. And this F crook with the whole step coupler, when I put it into my horn here, I now have a horn in the key of E flat. Composers use the different crooks of the horn to their advantage. The longer crooks, such as E flat, down to C basso are very dark. On the other end of the spectrum, from G on up, they're much more light. Let's hear what it sounds like. I think the natural horn is a great instrument for players of all levels. There are plenty of skills that are totally transferable from the natural horn to the valve horn. Scales, slurs, soft, loud, anything and everything. If you're looking to give a more historically informed performance, then natural horn might be the way to go. I highly suggest everyone does natural horn studies. It won't hurt you, it'll just make your valve horn playing that much better. I hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next week.